AI is going nuclear. That's what we wrote to you, the subscriber, back in October when Microsoft was actively hiring nuclear engineers late last year. At the time, Microsoft was seeking an alternative to the grid to fuel its power-hungry AI applications like OpenAI's ChatGPT and Microsoft's Copilot. And since then, the demand for AI just continues to explode. And this time, OpenAI's Sam Altman is bringing his small nuclear reactor energy company public in just a few short months. We alerted you to the possibility of small nuclear reactors, or SMRs, as being a possible solution to the power crisis facing AI companies today and certainly into the future as well. And now a major order has come in from a data center, meaning small nuclear reactors could gain in popularity in the years to come. So a small nuclear reactor is a type of reactor that is smaller in size and has a reduced power output compared to those traditional kind of large scale nuclear reactors we're all kind of familiar with. These smaller reactors typically generate electrical power ranging from tens to maybe a few hundred megawatts, making them really ideal to help power data centers. SMRs are also designed to be modular, meaning multiple units could be installed at a single site to incrementally increase power capacity as needed over time. This modularity also aids in scalability and flexibility in deployment. SMRs are also engineers with advanced safety measures, which is obviously important. They have passive cooling systems that rely on natural circulation to prevent overheating reducing the risk of really tragic accidents and the need to locate them near a natural water source. The smaller size and the modularity of the SMRs generally requires a lower initial capital investment compared to the larger reactors as well. This makes them far more accessible for smaller utility companies or countries just starting out with a nuclear program. The smaller size of the SMRs also allows for components to be manufactured in a factory and then transported to the site, potentially reducing construction cost and time. Their smaller size and the enhanced safety features we talked about allow SMRs to be located closer to urban areas where people live or in remote locations where large reactors just simply aren't feasible. And this past week, we're seeing major news in the world of SMRs. Just days ago, the world's leading data center provider, Equinix, signed an agreement with a pre-SPAC company called Oaklo. The deal was for $25 million. So the $25 million provides Equinix the choice of either acquiring stock in Oaklo or obtaining a supply of power at a reduced rate. Oaklo's small, fast fission reactors are capable of producing up to 15 megawatts of power and can operate for 10 years or longer before refueling is required. Oklo stands out in a field of advanced nuclear technologies by focusing on a design with a strong historical foundation in safety and efficiency, while also addressing the critical issue of nuclear waste. One of the first power plants to generate useful electric power from nuclear fission was the experimental breeder reactor one, which went online in 1951 and it was cooled using the same methods Oklo is using today. Oklo's approach to the SMRs rooted in a technology with a strong historical foundation and inherent safety features positions them uniquely in an advanced nuclear technology landscape. Oklo not only stands out for this technology, it's backed by none other than OpenAI's Sam Altman. Last July, Altman's blank check corporation called Alt-C agreed to merge with Oklo. The reverse merger of sorts, or SPAC, is expected to close sometime in July. So you have Sam Altman as a backer, Equinix as an early buyer. What's that to like here? Well, unfortunately, these SPAC deals have a terrible, absolutely terrible track record. In fact, investing in SPACs has been an absolute disaster for investors. According to the website SPAC Insider, Every sector except one has a negative return after a SPAC deal closes. These things really, really cater to the insider investor and not the public investor like you and I. With industries like cannabis, EV, crypto, and healthcare down 
nearly 90% or more after the SPAC goes public. That's why I recommend taking a wait and see approach on not only Sam Altman's SPAC company, Alt-C, but with this small nuclear reactor technology as well. Remember, in the stock market, it's far more important to be right rather than early. And many, many investors are lured in by sexy stories and a world-class founder like Sam Altman. But the reality is, and there's tons of examples like this, but you could have bought Apple years after the iPhone was released and still be sitting on life-changing gains. But despite the scary performance of SPACs, the news that the small nuclear reactors is really great for the AI industry, which will need far more than just renewable energy sources like solar and wind to really keep it moving forward. The game plan I have is wait for the hype of this new energy source to really wear off, but continue to play the upside with AI gaining popularity. If anything, SMRs will allow AI data centers to grow without the constraints, and that's really a good thing for the industry and for investors as well. That was the bleeding edge for today. I'm sure you're gonna be hearing a lot about SMRs going forward. Just keep in mind, sometimes the hype and new technology doesn't often lead to a great investment. Hopefully you guys have a great week. We'll be back again soon. Bye for now.